Thanks for coming back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan for episode 30 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, it's December 2, we're in the grip of winter. It's a little bit nippy and I thought it's probably time for an update. Um, I, I keep saying, I've done the last couple of Let's Plays, or the last couple of episodes. Um, I think I've shown you something or recorded something. i come to edit and realise I didn't. Um, I think I recorded the bit where I bought this. It was, well it was reduced. What was it, 40% off? I can't remember what it was now. Um, but we got ourselves a JCB. The two smaller little skid loaders. I've got rid of and I um, have moved over the teleskid over to the main farm area the other thing I did <laughs> stupidly I thought I've got a fair bit of money in the bank I'll set the little seed manufacturing plant off running and forgot <laughs> and then it, I went through skipped through to the next day and all of a sudden my money dropped by like a hundred thousand <laughs> And then suddenly realised what I'd done. So, anyway, we've got a load of seed over there. Um, but the reason I am showing you where we're at now. When I last left you, um, I was talking about and we'd put in these greenhouses to build up our wheat, as it turns out, wheat, sorghum and oats production in these two greenhouses to supplement what we've already got in storage for putting chickens in leading up to us being able to replant our fields and get a field of wheat barley or whatever you decide to do this is where we've got to so far into december 2 we've got eight boxes of sorghum six of oats and ten of wheat so what i'm going to do is load these into a trailer take them over and put them into the silo and then over at the farm I've reached a point, you know I said my straw, that all that straw I had, was it 4 million litres, was a finite resource? Well, <laughs> we've got down to a point I'm not going to use anymore because I need it for bedding for the cows, topics ration, you know, just a couple of bits and bobs. Um, but, well we'll get over there, I'll show you in a minute. Um, as far as fertiliser goes, I haven't sold any for the last three months, two, three months. And I wanted to show you now, because I'm going to sell what I've got there. I might leave a little bit, obviously, for fertilising fields. But, yeah, we're going to suddenly... This is going to be a massive spike in the money. But that's going to build up to us doing well, whatever we decide to do next. Whatever joys we go for. So, let's start this up. What is nice as well was moving forward as I, I decided I was going to. Let's get the lights on. And we were in the silo last winter. This winter, we're in our um, farmhouse. And we're in our farmhouse, which is so much warmer. It's such a cold winter. Let's check on the weather. Temperature currently is sitting at minus 21. <laughs> we got snow for January, February. Oh, we should be alright in March. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, so it's showing snow all the way through, so we're currently in minus 21, it's a little bit nippy. So having our house certainly helps. Another great thing about having the telehandler now, that was one of those brilliant purchases, a result. Now what we'll do is, oh, I haven't checked today. Um, no, not on there. What are we looking at for used vehicles today? Oh, <laughs> the, the two skids the loaders that I sold. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, don't need any of that. We're all good. So I'm going to put the. Well, I'm going to put it all into storage. Like I say, it just adds to what we've got and make sure that we've got a, a bit of a buffer. I still don't know what's happening when we do the chickens, how much they're actually going to get through. Um, I have filled up the feed for the cows. Uh, we've got about 30, well probably more than that, 40,000 litres of milk already. I say already, again I've skipped ahead quite a few months. Um, our pigs are doing fine. Our pig food production, we've caught up with ourselves. So the um, sunflower that I was getting from my subcontractor 
is working out perfectly. We've caught up with our pig food and the amount of food the pigs are eating is less than what we're producing, so we're caught up. Uh, our total mix ration is exactly the same. Our total mix ration production in that um, um, that mixer, again, we're producing more than the cows are using, so we've caught up. Yeah, 38,964 litres of milk we've got. Um, the manure heap that I put in, no manure. I went through two days before I checked it and realised there was no manure in it. Um, so I've put a different one in and that's now collecting manure. We're good there. Um, our sheep are still producing and our horse is going to need... Have I exercised today already? Yeah, maybe I have. I didn't realise I had. So yeah, I'll see you over at the silos in a moment and I'll show you where we're at. And then we'll look at uh, selling some of this fertiliser. I've got over a million litres of it. So based upon what I was selling before, I'm going to do all right. Got sorghum in the mix as well. So what I want to do is do that. Push that there. Generations to come of my family will be able to say, we come from fertiliser. <laughs> Whoa, a bit of wheel spin there. So our... Um, Gone past the turn in. Our um, straw processing, our baskets and straw accessories pallets. Um, I'm not refilling that with straw anymore now. There's about 400,000 litres in it, I think. I'm going to leave that to run down. So all I need to do is top that with water every now and again. And I've set that now to selling. So rather than me have to keep going over and putting pallets into the sell point, I've set that to direct selling. So you, you get a little bit less for it, but it's just a constant thing then that's how my money's just sort of gradually chugged up over the last couple of months as well um the bees are producing incredibly well we've got a load more pallets of honey sitting here which is great as i said we've got um over here in our production 136,000 litres of atomic ration that will hit 200,000 and stop because that's what that holds so like i said we're keeping up with our uh, Keeping up with our cows, which is what we wanted to be doing. Bring these over to... I put a couple of floodlights in. As I was doing stuff during the night as well. It was just, just so dark over here. So I thought, you know what? We need some lighting. Let's put the wheat in. That's what we got already. So, as far as straw goes in this silo, if you remember, we had, what did we have? It was about 4 million, wasn't it, in the end? 4 million litres in this, and then we had another million over there. We've got 545,000 litres in here. I could probably do another run over, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep that just in case. I don't want to use it all up going in that fertiliser frenzy and then suddenly realise I've made a horrible mistake. And we've got some left in there, which is going towards the top mix ration. Over here in our fertiliser production, we've got manure from our manure processing. This is almost full. That takes a million litres. We're at 987,000. It's chugging down. 404,000 litres of solid fertiliser in here. But every time this is filled up, I've been transferring solid fertiliser out into this silo to make sure I can keep that production running. So in this silo over here, we've got... 727,000 litres of solid fertiliser with the 400,000 in there 1.1 million 
flax straw, all that flax straw I've got, I kept, I was thinking I'm going to have to keep taking flax straw over to the spinnery. The spinnery has barely used any flax straw, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to do now, these are empty, I'm going to, I'm going to start taking fertiliser down to Brenda's. She has an outlet for it. She is my fertiliser fence. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we end up making. So next time I see you, it's probably going to be once the snow's cleared. Because I've got no contracts again. There's nothing for me to do. So I'm, I'm in that kind of position of we'll kind of hurry up and wait, really. Um, no, no contracts. So um, nothing doing. My manure production is still cracking away as well. But again, once that runs out this time, I'm not going to be filling that up again. I could probably do something. Let's save a bit more room for how much wheel spin we're going to get on this. A little bit. So, I'll see you when I'm richer. It's 7.30 in the morning, it's March 1, it's been a long winter, <laughs> it snowed constantly, three months, well nearly four, November, December, January, February, pretty much the entire way through it snowed, as you can see by the depth of the snow we've got layer after layer after layer, um, it has been a productive winter though, as you can see by our money, top right, so I let the manure production carry on going until that ran out of straw because that's a one to three um i was bringing the manure over to the fertilizer production so whilst last time i saw you i had 1.3 million 1.2 million whatever it was 1.1 uh, million liters obviously it produced more because it carried on chugging away um so i've sold everything i'm going to sell for the time being although the fertilizer production is not far off full and I've got some stored to one side so we've still got some fertilizer left over um, my gardens have carried on going so we've got some wheat we've got some sorghum we've got some oats we've got some flour that's been produced through the winter in the greenhouses that's all stored Tomix ration I've been making at my uh, production and taking over um, so our cows at the moment are looking like I mean we're not doing bad i've just suddenly realized uh, our pigs have bread so we've got a double amount we've got 100 pigs now i need to feed them actually um our sheep have reproduced for the third time so we've got three times as many sheep as we started with they're going to need a bit as well i'm here to um just take king charles the third out for today's daily riding that's been continuing as we've gone on but we have got sitting there now 94,277 liters of milk and my intention today was sort out the big chicken barns and feed them i can't do that until the snow goes so i was kind of hoping the temperature had come up enough you know you kind of get that thing it will get sort of 10 11 o'clock in the morning and it will just disappear potentially I'm, I'm kind of hoping that happens if it doesn't we might be in trouble um but let's take his majesty the king out Something I noticed that I, it, it never used to be the case, and I'm sure it's FS22, and again, I haven't really done horses very much, 
because um, it kind of changed a little bit. But what we'll do, let's open up this menu and I'll show you what I mean. You might do horse all the time, in which case this is nothing new to you. But put the help window on. So with the help window on now, it gives you the percentage of your daily riding. So at the moment it's going up a percent of the time because we're just going along at a... Um, what we're going on at the moment? So walk, trot, and the canter, then gallop. The faster you go, the faster it goes up. Which you never used to. I'm pretty sure it was it was like five minutes, wasn't it? It used to be five minutes per horse to get to 100%. So if you had a lot of horses, it could take quite a while each day to get them exercised. So if I slow right down again, it goes up much slower. I might just imagine that. No, it is, isn't it? Yeah, definitely going up faster the faster you ride. So no, yeah, so we get the horse ridden. I'm going to go and feed the pigs. So what I'm thinking is, I might go and buy the dairy anyway, or I was thinking about maybe, again, it's going to need the snow to go, about putting down, I know there's soy drink. I don't know if there's soy milk production, because we've got some soybean being produced. We've got plenty of milk. I don't know if we could do both, I suppose. No reason why not. Um... So we've got a lot of milk. I could just go old school, you know. I could just go very old school and just sell the milk. I mean, I, we could just do that. We don't have to produce anything with it. We could just sell it, which I guess, yeah, we could do. I like doing the processes, but yeah, we can just sell it. And then hopefully we'll see what happens with the snow and, um, yeah. Yeah. We should be able to get some chicken barns in. I'm not going to be collecting the chickens myself because we're going to be buying quite a lot. Um, in my head, it's a good idea. We'll see how that pans out when it comes to actually buying them. And then we'll feed them. If we run out of feed, then we're going to be in trouble. I may have to get to a point where I have to buy some. But I'm hoping by that point, if we can get... Um Let's just slow down a little bit. If we go and check in here to our, uh, is it there? Yeah, in there. And we go to our planting. Oh, it's April, isn't it? I was thinking we were into planting season. But yeah, if we can get into April and um, get some wheat or barley in one of the big fields, and then we'll get, um, I still haven't decided whether I have to do the other two cotton or not. I might do. And, um, Actually, I've got those two small fields I have potatoes in. I forgot all about them. And the poplars. I mean, it's taking its time, but it's growing. If, as long as we can get through with whatever feed we've got for the chickens until harvest time, a massive field with all that wheat or barley, we should then have plenty to keep feeding them. It's a bit of a risk at the moment, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you hopefully when the snow clears. If it clears... Here's something curious. I know the snow hasn't cleared yet. Um, I was just bringing the soybean pallets over, and I thought I'll bring over the little uh, gravity wagon so I can feed the pigs. And the snow banks are quite high. I came across the snow bank, and it bounced down. It bounced up the other side, and the gravity wagon flew up in the air. But when it landed, I've broken a wheel. I, I've never, I've never done that before. It doesn't say it needs any major... I'm saying damage 38%. We'll have to take it and fix it. You might want to drive away, look. One wheel's facing fine, the other one... It's not. And it's dragging, look. I've never, I've never broken an axle like that before. That's not a new thing in game, is it? I know sometimes you get it where, you know, a mod will go a bit funny. Mind you, the left hand... The back wheel's not going either. What's happened? See if I can fix it and see if that sorts the problem, but that's really weird. The whole thing's leaning to one side as well, isn't it? What have I done? Oh dear. Let's put the soybean into the side. Oh yeah, that's probably gone, isn't it? <laughs> See, so 
serious damage. Right, let's see if this will work. Gravity wagon repair. Chase it. Really? I barely used that over the winter. Okay, fine. Nope, that's still broken. <laughs> Blimey. Um. Ooh. I don't know whether I'm going to leave the area and come back, maybe. Nope, that's absolutely. I've norsed it up. I've, I've made a right old mess of it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to feed the pigs another one. We've got a lot of honey as well. It needs to be sold. Oh, and I've got a ton of fabric over at the spinnery. I think I've got about seven or eight pallets, if not more than that now. Totally could have been productive over the winter. I'm down with the cows. I don't mean like I'm down with the kids. I'm down with the cows. Um, I'm down where the cow pens are. At the field we bought to help out Mike, who's doing our subcontracting of sunflowers. Um, our manure heap that was over there wasn't working so I've put it right up against here and we've now got at the moment 179,000 litres so if I wanted to like I say I have still got fertiliser I think I've got 400,000 litres in the silo and in the, in the fertiliser silo and then the second silo 120 so I've got plenty of fertiliser but if we wanted to run more we have got more manure here or we can use it for other things like the greenhouses that kind of stuff if we want to but it's time for Mega Chicky One <laughs> Judge Dreg um, I'm putting them in here. That's what we're going to do. I think. I might remove some more of the fencing along here because it's a little bit flatter here as well. Whereas I had to put a little bit in there for taking slurry out. Actually, I didn't even, I didn't even think to check the slurry. What's the slurry situation with me? Uh, I was so focused on the cows. Uh, the uh, milk. That doesn't sound there, does it? Um, 94,000 litres. I was just over there. What's that saying? Slurry. So 222,000 litres. It does. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Blimey, governor. That's pretty cool. Right, so. Um, I think I can fit four in here. Another reason why selling the fertiliser and getting some money I, I've got to, like I said, I might decide to do cotton and buy cotton harvesters rather than lease them, in which case I might buy two or three. We've got the money to do that now. Um, but I'm pretty sure these big chicken barns are 120 grand? Could be 150 grand. I'm going to put four in. Five grand a pot, 20,000 chickens. That's why it's Mega Chicky One. Ooh. Anyway, let's give it a go. And we're in. One, two, three, four. Landscaped a little bit. I didn't realise there was such a slope actually coming up this way. I think the land was pretty flat here because I was intending originally to put a second cow pasture in next to this. But actually, these would have, these fitted in much better here. If you remember the, that episode a little while ago, when I was looking at putting them in here, they wouldn't have fitted. They wouldn't have gone in there not as neatly as they have done in here. So, now comes the scary bit. <laughs> Filling them and feeding them. Now, as I said, I could start off and just get half the amount and then let them breed into the... So, I mean, we're going to be starting off... If we do that, we're going to be starting off with 10,000 anyway. And then end up with 20,000. Maybe that's the way to go. We'll buy half the stock. And then when they breed, then we'll double up. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me. Anyway, uh, do I need lights on? Probably not. So now comes the other scary bit then. Is, um, 
This is going to take a while, isn't it? Two and a half thousand in each. What is two and a half thousand going to cost me? And I can never remember. Is there still a ratio like there used to be of how many roosters per you need? I honestly can't remember. If I'm putting two and a half thousand in. I don't know. Let's go with that. Okay. So, it's going to take me a while. <laughs> Bear with me. It's going to take me ages, isn't it? And there we have it. We're starting off with 10,000. <laughs> 10,000 chickens purchased. It will come up on the screen now because I did not keep track as we've been going along. The amount we started with and what we're up to now. How much that just cost us for 10,000 chickens. But, now just comes a small matter of feeding them. I'm sure these... Oh, did these get upgraded? I can't remember now how much these hold. I might not have enough, you know. We're about to find out, aren't we? This could have been a horrendous endeavour. I could have made a horrible mistake. That one's really closed. Hmm, doesn't look like 2,500 chickens, but... Oh, just making a break for it. So, let's go over... Oh, that was close. Um, oh, it was coming right at me. I think what I'll do... I said about um, milk. I found um, a milk drink factory. And we can do oat milk, soy milk, chocolate milk and strawberry milk. And we've got no chocolate or strawberry, but I could convert over one of the greenhouses to do strawberries if I wanted to. Or add strawberries onto that if I wanted to, maybe. So we get some strawberries. Um, but we have got oat and we have got soy. So we could do oat milk and soy milk rather than just doing normal. I know I said we could just sell the milk, which we could do. Just sell the 94,000 litres. But... I don't know. I just want to, I want to try it. So, let's whiz over. Grab the trailers. I've got 60,000 litres combined. Should I bring over... I don't even know. That would be enough for 60,000 litres. It might be. Once I get the crop in the ground, I have to find a new shortcut across because I've been backwards and forwards across here all through the winter. Through the thick snow, you couldn't see anything, so it didn't matter. But, um, yeah, I'm going to need a new route, aren't I? Unless I put a track that goes all the way across. I've got the one that goes from here down to the sheep. So if I went across the sheep pen and then did one from the sheep pen to the corner, that might work, might it? Or I could put, um, from the sheep pen, I could fill the ditch just over there, directly ahead, and go straight across from there. I might do that, actually. I know, it, technically it doesn't matter. If, if, you know, if you turn crop destruction off, which you can do, no one would ever know, it wouldn't matter, but just my own peace of mind, my own sanity. If I'm going to take a shortcut, I want it to be, uh, want it to be all official and above board, you know. I've got enough money to put in another, uh, another beehive if I wanted to. So, what do I start with? Do I use my barley, or do I use my wheat? Or do I use my sorghum? It doesn't really matter, I can use all of them, but... Probably should be used... Oh, this will pull it, won't it? Right, let's put in... So I've got wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum... Now, sunflower's been piling up, so uh, my um, pigs are only using about... 4,000 litres every couple of days, although we have just doubled the amount of pigs we've got, so that might go up a little bit. Um, but what we've got in the the, um, the pig food mix is 50,000 litres. That's going to last a little while anyway, and I've still got some stuff in there, so every time I use some, I can turn it on again so it can keep producing. So we're good to go there. 
let's put the well we'll see all the wheat I've got more wheat being produced we'll put all the wheat in again is this a false economy am I wasting crop I could be selling and making the money compared to the eggs which will make me money again it's a process and it's something to do the game is synonymous with chickens and eggs I still, I mean, to be fair though, thinking about it now, with 10,000 chickens, potentially 20 when they, 20,000 when they reproduce, if you think back to FS15, when I first started on Bjornholm, and you went to the chicken pens and you just picked up the eggs individually, you had a little backpack, you picked up your eggs and you took them off to the sell point in your backpack. Did that continue on to FS17? I'm trying to remember now. But, um, <laughs> could you imagine doing that? Oh my days, 10,000 chickens, how many eggs that would be, that would be absolutely insane. See I'm thinking, I need to move the telehandler out of the way, but coming straight down across here, I think I'm either across in front or behind, it doesn't really matter, across the grass, I mean the sheep's in the way, put another little one just from there to there on the narrowest point so I'm not wasting too much, and then fill in the ditch. So we just fill the ditch in across there, Oh, but I suppose we could put a bridge in. Have we got any bridge? I'm just trying to think what bridges we've we got available. We could put a little bridge in maybe and go straight across rather than keep cutting across that way. Let me just double check. What have we got available under uh, decoration? Others? I don't think I have. There's those little green ones I, I do quite like. Some the signposts I was trying out. No, I haven't at the moment. I need to get one. Yeah. We'll do that. Like I say, just my own sanity and it just it works better, it fits better. I could come across this corner but the trees there which mean I'd have to take the trees out, so you know. Oh dear. This has taken quite a turn, isn't it? This <laughs> this plot that just started out as a field that I bought to help out a, a local farmer and now I'm using it. I mean to be fair I did pay for it but Let's, this is where I find out if these, I'm sure these only did 17,000 litres originally, but I seem to recall them having had an update. So I've got to be careful what I do here. And if it gets through all of this in like a day or two, then, then I really am in trouble. Oh no, 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 no. I'm hoping that's been done to make it last longer. Oh no, let's check out. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Where's the... Oh, it takes more than that. That's got to be, what, 40? Oh, maybe not, 35? So I'll do 30,000 of each, in each, I think. I've got plenty of barley. Oh, I hope that lasts a while. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So it may well be all that, the growing I did through the winter months in the greenhouses is not even going to come close. Not even going to come close. So a couple of these are going to be mixed and I'm going to have some wheat and some sorghum in one. And then barley. I think I've got 90,000 litres of barley. So that will only leave me a little bit left though, wouldn't it? Oops. Well. <laughs> Looks like this endeavour could end up costing me a lot more money if I have to end up buying chicken feed. Which I can do, but you know. I need to smooth that out a little bit more, I think. Yep, needs a little bit more. Right, I'm going to go and get some more. Let's get these fed. And then I'll need to think about uh, a plot of land. I don't think the milk factory that I'm thinking of getting... I'm not going to do that in this episode, but um, whether it will fit 
where I've got my straw processing and my manure production on whether I'm going to need another plot of land. Or I suppose I can put that up in that little gap where I was originally intending to put these. Either way, My trackway is in, as is my bridge. While I was off getting the next bit. Uh, so three of them have got 30,000, one's got wheat in, two have got barley in. I've got 38,000 litres of barley left up in the silo. The two greenhouses behind me are still running the um, sorghum, oat and wheat mix. So anything that comes off there will go directly to the chickens now rather than going to the silo. I've got 18,000 litres of sorghum in here, and I think the last one had, what did I put in it? 10,000 litres of wheat. So it will have 28,000 litres, whereas the others have got 30,000, but that's not really in the world. But this bridge fitted in here absolutely perfectly. Could not have been better. So directly across, no messing. I can put another track in here if I want to. Over time, I'm sure we will wear a path down, the same as across this bit here. So we want to go to the second one, don't we? And that'll be it. That'll be all of them fed. <laughs> like I say, I don't know how long it's going to last. I was just thinking back to Western Wilds is when I did one of these. Ooh, lummy. That's all I can say. Ooh, lummy, missus. <laughs> right. So, mega chicky one is complete. And close those down for the time being. I'll leave the doors open. There we go. Get 30,000 litres. So, 10,000 birds with a potential for 20,000 once they reproduce. going to be interesting to see how many eggs we get. I'm going to have to get um, maybe one of those auto load either there was IT runner ones there's TLX ones I'm trying to think what trailers we've got available um, there's that 4x4 that I used on Silver Run has got an auto load capability maybe I could do that I don't know We'll see, because it might get to a point, or I could just put them on... To, can I sell eggs directly? I don't think I can, can I? No, I can't. Anyway. There we go. I finally got there. I've been planning that in my head for ages. And I'm not going to lie, the time it's taken me... This is my other thing I've said before about skipping ahead. Skipping ahead on Carpathian countryside because of the way I'm doing that was a little bit different on here. On here I was skipping ahead because the winter was so long, so harsh, no contracts, nothing I could do, deep snow, I didn't have an option. But because I had animals, because I've got the cows, because I've got the pigs and the sheep, plus I had productions running as well, I had to skip through each day 
each day, check the feed situation, make sure everything was topped up, make sure pallets and stuff were moved where they needed to be moved. I could skip a couple of days, but then we'd get to a point where if I went too far, there was so much feed and stuff that needed to be made and distributed. So it was that daily jobs. It has taken me a couple of days worth of off-camera gameplay to get to this point where I could put the chicken barns in. Um, but they're in. So next is going to be, as we go into April, getting crops into the ground. I'm going to buy a new cedar. I said about that um, fertilizer spreader I bought. I have sold that. I'm going to get a self-propelled one. We're going to get wheat or barley into a big field. And then we're going to do, I think, cotton in the, in the others. And um, the problem is, again, then, if I skip ahead then to harvest time, which is what I want to do, I've got to keep all this lot fed and watered and... But oh, that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? That's farming. So, I'll see you on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed the insanity. I'm having palpitations. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.